Hi, welcome to the waterfront. By far the best part of campus. Might be a little biased because I worked here as a student up until 2017, graduated, and have been working here ever since. So let's go take a look around. So, up this way, we have our Wallace Boathouse, uh, home to the waterfront, and kind of the main hub of where everything goes. You can kind of see the paddle boards behind me. Say hey to Savannah. Hey, Savannah. Uh, back here in these shelves, we have all of our overnight equipment. So this is stuff that students can check out for free as long as you come down with your student ID. Uh, we've got fishing rods, we've got bait, uh, water coolers, bait buckets, we've got snorkel equipment, we've got some tents in the back there. Yeah, students can check out tents for free as well. Uh, we've got sports balls, little coolers, big water jugs if you're trying to hang out on Kappa Field and need to stay hydrated. And then of course, regular coolers. So really everything you need to set up a camping trip. If you haven't set up your own camping trip before, that's totally fine. We actually go do camping trips all around the state, uh, hosted through the waterfront. So students pay for a little bit, but, uh, and then the waterfront covers about like half or so. And uh, we've gone all the way up in the Panhandle, all the way down to the Everglades. Everglades is always my favorite. I actually ran these trips as a student before I became a staff member. And we'd go down, we'd do airboat rides, uh, hold baby gators, all sorts of fun stuff. In addition to that, we actually do wakeboard trips as well. We have our wakeboard boat right back here. Whoop, whoop, bam. And then we also do fishing trips um, using some of those rods we have. We also sell bait if you're trying to do your own thing. If you're trying to check out a paddle board, you can check out a paddle board to go fishing on. We also have windsurf boards, kayaks, canoes, Go check out some kayaks. We've got all sorts of kayaks, a couple different styles, but they all have fishing rod holders for those of you who like to fish. They're all pretty comfortable. Marine science classes go out on them sometimes, so we can go collect critters out at Indian Key for a lab. So these are our Colgate 26s. Uh, they're a keel boat. Uh, this class does cost a little bit of money, but it, because it's taught from an off-campus instructor, but once you take the class as a student, you can come down and check out that boat as much as you want for free. I know one of the best weeks, weeks of finals I had was uh, the week when I went out sailing right beforehand. Got to swim around with the School of Tarpon. That was super sweet. Definitely put me in the right state of mind to take some tests. All right, and over there we've got some small sailboats. So let's go check those out. So down here in dock two, we have our windsurf boards. If you've never windsurfed before, that's totally fine. Uh, we actually teach that class for free to students. So if you've ever been curious about windsurfing, you can hop down. It's taught by students to students, free to students. Super cool. The same goes for these small boats here. Currently they're under covers, protect them from the sun. These are actually RS Quests. We just got them, but uh, yeah, we teach those classes for free. Again, taught by students for students free to students, super cool. So I mentioned a little bit earlier, or maybe you saw the shirt, but my primary job here is to work with XR, which is Eckerd College Search and Rescue. So let's go check out their operations communication center. Cool, so XR stands for Eckerd College Search and Rescue. They're the only collegiate maritime search and rescue program in the nation. And where I'm staring now is our operations communication center, also called OPCOM. This is where we keep track of all of our boats' operations, where they're going, what they're doing, who's on it. So as a student, it's pretty cool. By the time you're junior or senior, you can actually be driving our boats, which I'll show you in a minute, um, talking on the radio with real world, real life uh, EMS systems, so your emergency uh, medical systems or just like the Coast Guard and whatnot. Um, so they go out and they respond to everything from a 911 distress call all the way down to a, hey, I didn't fill up enough gas, and we take them some gas. Sometimes we get calls for animals in distress, so pelicans need help. Sometimes manatees will watch them until the FWC shows up. Well, actually, we also rescued this little cat here, Skyway Kitty, who has his own Instagram, the other year off of the Skyway Bridge. Often you'll find him sitting here in the chair. Um, he tries to run our case folder, um, but usually he just kind of hits one or two buttons. Let's go check out our boats. So here you see Rescue 6. This is one of our faster boats, one of our bigger boats. 
um, outfitted with backboards so if we need to pull people out of the water, uh, pumps to take water out of boats or to shoot water on boats on fire. This is Rescue 4, this is one of our older boats, but for some reason the team loves her the most. I don't know what it is, um, just that old reliable boat, you know? Well, that's about it for the waterfront. Thanks for going on this tour with me. And actually, uh, tide's about to switch, so I gotta get back to fishing. See y'all.